What if I tell you the wait for Hollow Knight Silksong could become more bearable? While there are great indie games on the market, nothing really could hit the same note as Hollow Knight. Well, except Lone Fungus, which I enjoyed every second of. But now Constance enters the circle of games inspired by Hollow Knight. And it absolutely nails it. Let me explain. In Constant, you play this purple-haired Aris with her giant paintbrush weapon. If you played Hollow Knight, you feel right at home with the combat and movement in Constance. For one, jumping and the precision behind every move is as tight as in its inspiration. In the demo, you're already able to perform an air dash, and you can get an ability that allows dashing through these hooks. The trailer already showed some kind of wall run and a downward slash with a brush to bounce off spikes and stuff. All of that creates a satisfying movement flow that feels much like Hollow Knight and it's just a joy exploring the beautiful hand-drawn world like that. One thing that Constance even improves upon compared to Hollow Knight is its standard attack. As you know, Hollow Knight's protagonist always knocks back a little when hitting an enemy. In Constance that's also the case, except attacking an enemy in the air causes you to stay there for just a little bit, making air combat much easier and approachable since you don't need to get above the enemy to perform a downward attack. Each special move, like the dash and the strong attack, consumes paint. If your paint drops to zero, the protagonist is corrupted, and every further action will instead consume your health. But paint always regenerates gradually. It's an interesting system that results in two really cool gameplay ideas. One is that you have to manage your paint in combat, so button mashing isn't an option. That could give boss fights a strategic element which I would really enjoy. The other thing is that certain areas could be locked this way. The amount of paint and health you get determines the amount of special moves you can perform, so making a longer platforming challenge would be a cool way to lock paths behind the progression you made so far. Of course we don't know for sure if that will be the case in the full game, but overall I like the straightforward paint mechanic. At the end of the demo you can test your skills in a fantastically designed boss fight, which incorporates the ability you gained a few moments back. I think that's pretty cool because it extends the utility of the ability to combat and teaches you to master an ability. I hope we will see more boss fights using mechanics like that in the full game. And if you die here, you'll see another cool mechanic. Upon death, you get to choose if you want to get back to the last checkpoint or pay some of the currency to be revived. That does not mean that the boss's HP stays the same, but you can skip the way to get back to where you died. It's a player-friendly system that I like very much. Yeah, so combat and movement feels great so far, but what about the rest? Constance is a metrovania, so gaining new abilities and backtracking should be a big focus. The demo only includes the one major ability I mentioned a minute ago, and the trailer showed more abilities for traversing and exploring. But the area in the demo gives us a taste of what we can expect of exploration in full release. There are breakable walls, hidden paths, and even some optional platforming challenges. The rewards range from crystals you can destroy to get some of the currency, life shards that expand your maximum health, and these inspirations, which work kind of similarly as trumps in Hollow Knight, but not entirely. You see, the inspirations can be equipped by placing them in a free spot here. Each inspiration takes a different form, so it's a bit like a puzzle to solve to get the most out of the effects each inspiration provides. It's a cool system that will probably feel satisfying to dive into and will also be a nice change of pace as it takes you out of the action for a while. Almost as satisfying as hitting that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. You hear me gushing about this game for a couple of minutes now and you're probably asking yourself, isn't there anything bad about this or something he doesn't like? Well, yes there is. The only thing I wasn't a big fan of is the health management. Much like in Hollow Knight you have a capsule that holds some of your health, so it's basically a healing potion. The thing is, it's filled by destroying objects like lamps, candles and other stuff. So instead of filling the capsule by hitting an enemy, you need to pay attention to your surroundings and destroy stuff on the way. I mean, it's not a deal breaker and you would definitely get the hang of it quickly, but I like the risk reward system of attacking an enemy to gain health a little bit more. That being said, we don't know if there will be some equipable inspiration that alters the way this mechanic works, so we have to wait and see. I know that we only got to play a short demo, and the trailer doesn't show too much of the game yet either. But I gotta be honest with you, I'm absolutely in love with this. For me, this checks all the boxes, and I hope I was able to inspire you with this game as well. Is Constance up your street and something you will put on your wishlist? 
let me know in the comments. Alright, thanks for watching. As you know, you can hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and click like if you want. That helps me out a lot. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.